Hey there, FakeFox here. With Lost Depth, the Healing Staff ability Grand Healing was reworked. So you might ask yourself, is Healing Springs better or Illustrious Healing? In this video I will answer exactly that question. So Healing Springs lasts 10 seconds and increases Magicka recovery by 15 every time it hits a player, up to 20 stacks or 300 Magicka recovery. Illustrious Healing lasts 15 seconds and that's it. Both morphs otherwise work identical and do the same healing per second. Illustrious Healing has less healing in its tooltip at the moment, but that is just a visual bug. To figure out which morph is more magic efficient, let's first look at how Healing Springs even works. Like I said, it builds up stacks of 15 magicka recovery every time it hits a player. This includes overhealing and also works out of combat. It takes once per second and has a target cap of 6, so that is up to 6 stacks per second. As it is the character stat Magicka Recovery, it does scale with Magicka Recovery modifiers like Major Intellect. Also very important to know is that the stacks do not get reset when recasting Healing Springs. They do fall off if Healing Springs runs out though. So let's get into some calculations. For my example, I've used a build with 70% increased Magicka Recovery, which is a good baseline I think. Healing builds can get quite a bit higher, which would increase the effectiveness of Healing Springs further. And for cost reduction, I've chosen 20%, which is also reasonable, I think. So depending on the number of targets, Healing Springs built its stacks up quicker, but even with just two targets, the first cast is already more efficient than the Lustrous Healing. Consecutive casts then reach maximum efficiency, with in my example a cost of only 32 magic per second, compared to the 192 magic per second of Illustrious Healing. That is only a sixth of the cost. So in conclusion, Healing Springs is so much more magic efficient that it beats Illustrious Healing in basically every situation. It does benefit from more targets and stacks being held up across consecutive casts, but even with a smaller number of targets, for example in a dungeon or a split up trial group, and even if the stacks fall off between casts, it is still beating Illustrious Healing. So Healing Springs cheaper cost is not just situational, but are there even any benefits to Illustrious Healing then? Yes, there are. Illustrious Healing takes up less global cooldowns and can provide better healing in situations where it might not be possible to recast it in time. That is something to keep in mind, but to be completely honest with you, it is far more likely that you will overcast Grand Healing anyway, because the group changes position or you're using a Master Restoration Staff or Pearls of Elnafe, than it is that you actually need the increased duration. Group healing in Asylum Sanctorium is pretty much the only exception I can think of. So I will end this video with the following advice. Always use Healing Springs as your default morph and only ever change to Illustrious Healing if it is absolutely needed in order to keep it active. And with that, the question should be answered, I think. Thanks for watching and see you.